Hello guys, today we will discuss about electric car main parts. An electric vehicle is powered by a battery and it does not need any type of fossil fuel. While conventional vehicles use an internal combustion engine and gasoline or diesel as a fuel, electric vehicles use electrical energy that is stored inside the high voltage battery. So they emit zero emissions and are environmental friendly. How does electric car work? When the driver press the car accelerator pedal, then, controller takes input and regulates the amount of speed of vehicle by changing the frequency or voltage of electrical energy from batteries and inverter to the motor state or create a magnetic field causing the motor rotor rotates and transmit mechanical energy to turn the car's gears once the gears are rotating the wheels turn and then the car moves when the brake pedal is pressed or the car is decelerating the motor becomes an alternator and produced electrical energy which is sent back to the battery that called regenerative braking electric car main parts traction battery pack power inverter, controller, electric traction motor, charger, transmission, DC-DC converter, auxiliary battery, thermal cooling system, and charging port. Now let's take a look at each of electric car parts with details starting with. Traction battery pack. The main function of the battery in an electric car is a storage system of electrical energy in the form of direct current electricity. The battery stores electrical energy and is the equivalent of a fuel tank in an internal combustion engine. If it gets a signal from the controller, the battery will immediately transmit DC electrical energy to the inverter and then use to drive the traction motor. The type of battery used is a rechargeable battery arranged laid out as a big flat panel under the belly of the electric car such a way that it is called traction battery pack. It has a battery management system, BMS, manages the electrical current flow in and out of the battery to protect the battery and extend its life. Every EV is going to have a BMS that is designed specifically for the battery in the car. The range will be higher with increasing kilowatt of the battery. The lifespan and performance of the battery depending on its design. There are various types batteries used in electric cars. The most widely lithium ion batteries used. Power inverter. The main function of the inverter to change the direct current on the battery into the alternating current for powering the electric motor. In additionally, the inverter on an electric car also has a function to converts the AC current generated during regenerative braking into DC current and then used to recharge the battery. This type of inverter used in some electric car models is the bi-directional inverter category. Controller. This electric car component main functions as a regulator of electrical energy or electrical power in the battery pack to the inverter so that it can drive the traction motor. The controller gets a signal from the electric car pedal which is set by the driver will determines the speed of the vehicle and the frequency variation or voltage variation that will input to the electric motor. Electric traction motor. The electric traction motor is the main component of an electric vehicle. The motor converts electrical energy into kinetic energy or mechanical energy. This means it functions in moving the electric car wheels using the energy generated from the traction battery pack. An electric motor is the main component that differentiates an electric car from a conventional car. An important feature of an electric motor is the regenerative braking mechanism. There are basically two types of motors DC and AC motors. In general, the type of electric motor used is the brushless DC motor. Charger. Charger is a battery charging device. A charger is a device that converts AC electricity which comes from outside sources such as the utility grid or solar power plants, into DC electricity which in turn charges the electric vehicle batteries where that energy is stored. There are two types of electric car chargers. Onboard charger. This charger is located and installed in the car. Offboard charger. This charger is not located or not installed in the car. Transmission. It is used to transfer the mechanical power from the electric motor to drive the wheels, through a gearbox. The advantage of electric cars is that they do not require multi-speed transmissions. The transmission efficiency should be high to avoid power loss, DC-DC converter. This one of electric car parts that to converts higher voltage DC power from the traction battery pack to the lower voltage DC power needed to run vehicle accessories with low power requirements can still be supplied properly and recharge the auxiliary battery. Auxiliary battery. The main function of this component is as a flow of electric current or a backup power provider that is used to turn on various accessories in electric cars. It prevents the voltage drop, produced during engine start from affecting the electrical system. Thermal cooling system. This system is responsible for maintains a proper operating temperature range for the main components of an electric vehicle such as an electric motor, controller, etc. It functions during charging as well to obtain maximum performance. It uses a combination of thermoelectric cooling forced air cooling, and liquid cooling. Charge port. The charge port connects the electric vehicle to an external supply in order to charge the traction battery pack. The charge port is sometimes located in the front or rear part of the vehicle. That's it, thanks for watching this video till the end. Like, share and comments on video.
and also do not forget to subscribe this channel.